All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to be talking about the new update 4.1 point, no sorry, uh, 4.12.0 that just dropped on the JP side of the game, as well as a new type of reusable skill orb that's going to be coming in the near future. Okay, so with all that said, let's pop into the news here and see what's going on. Oh, by the way, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Pain Shop on Twitter. They offer some very nice discounts on Dragonstones for iOS users. So if you guys are interested in saving some money on your next Dragonstone purchase, then make sure to hit them up on Twitter. Link in my description down below. Okay, so with that said, let's check out this update. Now, of course, we already talked about these two things in a previous video, but for anybody that uh, didn't watch that video. We're gonna cover it again quickly right now. Okay, so the first thing here is a new interface for the you know orb board in fights and as you can see what's gonna happen is when you hold on a certain orb It'll show you the path that orbs gonna take as well as exactly how many orbs you're getting from that path so in this example, they're holding on to the rainbow orb here and you're getting one two three four five six seven eight orbs and it says plus eight, right? And then the corresponding key meter around your unit will indicate exactly how much key that character is gonna be getting from the orbs, right? So since these are only Fizz orbs and LR Goku and Arale is a, you know, AGL unit, they're only getting eight key, which is shown here. But if these were, you know, AGL orbs, then they would be getting even more key and that would be indicated on the key wheel all right so that's the first change really useful obviously saves us a lot of time from having to count especially for like some of the characters with more complicated passives like lr super saiyan 4 goku lr super saiyan 4 vegeta that get a lot more key from same type orbs and uh, rainbow orbs right obviously it wasn't super necessary we could have done it mentally could have done the math but this just like saves us a bunch of time and makes our lives as dokkan players a little bit less painful, right? So that's the first update. Number two, we have a new section of our character boxes for unusable units or unplayable units like um, uh, all the Kai's, uh, Elder Kai's, Sleepy Kai's, Grand Kai's, all that stuff, as well as Hercule statues, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, so on and so forth. And uh, oh, the awesome thing about this update, of course, is that these characters will no longer count towards your box space. So um, if you had like a bunch of Kai's before just sitting there eating a box space for playable characters, now they'll no longer do that. So I know some people are immediately going to be able to free up like a couple hundred spots because all their Kai's now will be in this separate section. And from there, we have the ability now to access Extreme Z area events with our keys which is something that wasn't available before. So if you needed Extreme Z Awakening Medals for Extreme Z areas that weren't active, then you can now use your keys and get those medals and uh, awaken or Extreme Z Awaken your characters. Okay, so that's number three. And number four is the new EX Skill Orb or Infinite Skill Orb, Reusable Skill Orb, whatever you want to call them. The point is, these are special Skill Orbs that now will not be destroyed when replaced okay so for example let's say you have you know a gold skill orb you put it on a character but if it has that infinite symbol it's an ex skill orb and when you want to replace it with a better effect skill orb like for example a level 5 additional here this ex skill orb will not be destroyed and it will go back into your box and you can use it for another character okay so uh, there's going to be different types of course um, bronze silver and gold and uh, we don't really know how exactly these skill orbs are going to be obtainable at the moment or how rare they're going to be because if you think about it, uh, even regular skill orbs right now are a little bit rare, right? You can only get them from a few sources and uh, as far as like good skill orbs go, like level 5 additional, I don't even have one of these, but if you have one of these, that's like super, super rare, right? So considering how regular skill orbs that do get destroyed when you replace them are still kind of rare, these should be even more rare. Maybe these are like the LRs of skill orbs. And I'm guessing that if they're going to be available in the treasure chest in the Baba shop, they're going to have a super, super low rate, like even lower than the regular skill orbs. And uh, I guess the good thing is that once you get them, 
you never lose them, right? Because they won't be destroyed uh, when you replace them like a regular skill orb does. And of course, we still have regular skill orbs. So like these ones and like this one right there, they will still be destroyed. They'll still disappear if you want to replace them. But the new skill orbs with the infinite symbol will not. Okay, so that's what the new EX skill orb is. I'm guessing it's going to be coming with the new uh, chain battle on JP next week. But that's just a guess, just speculation. Maybe it's gonna be for something else, like a new event or something like that, but uh, that's what these things are, okay? And number five, this is apparently an update or a revamp or some kind of change to the Toucan Fest int Super Saiyan uh, Gotenks' super attack animation, right? There's the transforming Gotenks, that starts base, go Super Saiyan, and then Super Saiyan 3. Apparently, they adjusted the Super Saiyan Gotenks' animation. But from people I've talked to who have this unit and have tried them out after the update, they can't find anything different, you know? So I'm not really sure if they just changed something in the code or they like made one of the assets in the animation slightly more HD, but the difference is so minimal that you can't really notice it just by watching it. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the change was, but that apparently is what this says. And number six, I believe that's just bug fixes. Now, as you guys know, I can't read Japanese, so uh, it could say something else, but I don't think it's anything big. So that is update 4.12.0, okay? Infinite skill orbs, uh, new UI, this is already implemented. Uh, new section of the box already implemented. And I think this is also available as well, the Extreme Z areas with uh, keys. And this should be coming sometime next week. If it's coming with the uh, new, you know, battlefield. Or sorry, not battlefield. A uh, new chain battle event. And uh, that's it, guys. That is the update. Now, when I first saw the EX skill orb thing, my initial interpretation, which I think is wrong, but my initial interpretation was that there was some kind of like special item that you attach to a character. And basically that like slot uh like, like, like that skill orb slot becomes special right become in, it becomes infinite so like any skill orb you put into that slot won't be destroyed if you know it's replaced by another skill orb but i don't think that's correct because that just sounds way too good to be true and i'm pretty sure these infinite skill orbs are just like regular skill orbs but with that reusable capability with that infinite symbol and uh, it's that specific skill orb that won't be destroyed when you replace it. And then you can obviously move it around to different units and uh, use it more freely compared to a regular skill orb where, you know, you have to be pretty sure that you want to give that orb to a unit because if you want to replace it, then that skill orb is gone. All right, just wanted to let you guys know my thinking process throughout the whole thing, but like I said, I'm pretty sure my initial interpretation was wrong. And what I said after about, you know, how it's just like a regular skill orb, with a reusable feature is more accurate, okay? But that's it, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to uh, EX skill orbs. And uh, I guess that's it. Gotenks apparently has a, you know, adjustment or a revamp to his animation that nobody can tell. So I guess that doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, also, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.